Hey guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here once again with a brand new completion and review video. And as you can see, we have Elvis Presley in a diamond painting. So, this is a diamond painting that I special ordered for my aunt's 80th birthday. She loves Elvis and I thought this would be nice to do for her. It is from Pencils. It is W611, that is W611, and there's the thumbnail. It has 20 colors. It is 30 by 40 inches round. I started this on April 23rd, and I finished it on April 30th, and then saved it for my aunt's birthday. And it cost me $6.40 on fan sales or thereabouts. I find the prices change every day on fan sales just by a few pennies. So I don't know if that's because of the difference in our exchange rate, because their normal rate is in the UK. So anyway, I um, I think I spent $6.40 on this. I have in my book $6.44 when I looked it up, but today it says $6.40. So I don't know. I don't remember. But it was set, like between $6.40 and $6.44, so a $0.04 cent price difference. It's still a very much of a budget painting. So for pros, I said um, the price is a great price and that it's cool. I mean, it's Elvis, and it's it's a cool-looking painting. You can clearly tell it's Elvis on the face. All right, so there were a lot of cons. I ran out of 18, um, number 181, no, 18, P, which was 3779. So number 18 there, I ran out of that color. So that was this pinky color. So here's the color that came with it in the nose, and I had to add this pink color. So I did have an almost match. I think the color I added was just like one shade lighter over here. But you can't really tell. And this side, I think, is more in the light. This is the shadow, so it was fine. It worked out fine. Okay, so the cons. It was not a very clear uh, drill field. Um, it was kind of hard to work on for some of the colors. Um, and none of the details showed up because this is too small of a painting. Um, this is supposed to be Elvis singing in a spotlight. You can kind of make out a little figure here, but not really. And all of these bands of color, they're supposed to be ribbons with um, little notations, like musical notes. And you can't see the musical notes at all, but you can still see the ribbons. So it's still kind of a cool design. And also the colors aren't gray. I don't know why they chose gray for the face here. And my dad's like, well, why is that there? You know, he was complaining about that. All I can think is I think in the picture he probably had a light beard. And you can't tell on this side because it was in shadow. So he might have had some stubble here. So that's why I'm assuming the computer picked out that color. But it still looks okay. And um, it's not framed. I'm just using the frame right now to hold it in place. But it's very, very sparkly, as you can see. So you can see all the sparkles when I move it. And it looks nice, but if you look down here, this is supposed to be Elvis with a microphone in his hand and he's kind of kneeling in a spotlight. And you can kind of tell, but not really. And like I said, all of these ribbons, they were supposed to have musical notes in them, but the musical notes, they don't show up because this is too small of a painting. But you can tell this is Elvis. So I'm happy about that. And I think my aunt will really like it. And she won't see the picture on the computer of what it should have looked like, so she won't know how much it differs, so that'll be fine. I just hope she's not mad about this, too. Like, when I look at the picture, it does look like that's stubble. I just don't know why they started it so high up. I should have looked at the picture before I, um... I, I already, um, sealed the whole thing. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Let me take a sip of water. Sorry, you guys. 
my allergies have been acting up and I've been sneezing a lot and I'm losing my voice. But anyway, yeah, if I would have looked at the picture, I should have called it up on my computer. I think I would have taken out some of the gray here and just put darker pink and maybe just left a little row of gray here. But it's fine. I mean, it's fine. I'm just being picky. Um, the major con were the numbers in the legend and the symbols were very crazy. So let me show you here. So one is E, right? No problem. But two was six or eight or whatever. But that was really hard because when I saw two here for the first time, I went to this two and I started using one, five, four when I should have gone all the way down to the two down here, which was number 14, eight, three, nine. So I had to pull out all of the twos that were one, five, fours, and then they were all sticky in the bag and very hard to work with. So, and that was my problem, but I don't know why a company wouldn't make a two, a two. I mean, how hard is it to make a two, a two or a three, a three? If you're going to use numbers, make them line up, you know, 13 is four. Before, you know, can I get it to show up for you? No, it's not going to show up for you. Let me see if I can fix that. If I go slower, okay, four is G, three is nine, but nine is the plus sign, eight is seven, but seven is the F, 13 is four, four, you know, 15 was, it's just crazy. One should have been one, two should have been two. I mean, I don't understand that. So I got very confused when I started and I made, I used two instead of six. So wherever I saw two on there, I was using this two, which is color number 154. And then that ruined the 154s because when I pulled them off, they were sticky and clumpy. So I did not have a good time doing this, even though it's nice. And yes, that was my fault. But the company could make it a little bit easier, you know? Um, so that was my main problem with this diamond painting. So, and then the eyes. I wanted to try to change the eyes so they would match here, but it didn't look good. When I put the white, like I tried to make this eye match this eye exactly because this eye looks great, right? But when I matched it, it looked terrible. So I had to go back and put it in shadow because it was just too striking a difference in the dark. When I look at it far away, it looks like an eye. It looks fine from far away like this with the darker color on this side and the light. But when I brought it close up and I changed it, it was like a horrible effect. So they were right about the eye anyway. So that's all really I have to say. I'm going to frame this and I'll come back and let you know how it looks in the frame. So that's it for now and I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, just quickly before I frame this, I was just getting ready to frame this and I have to... uh cut this matting down so it won't be covering too much of the painting. I just wanted to show you one other con about this painting. I don't know if it'll show up, but if I put it flat and hold it up. Yeah, there. See all the, the ripples on the back? This is after it's been under books for two weeks flattening it after finishing and two weeks flattening it before finishing it. So like a month of being under heavy books and the creases won't come out. So, I don't know if you can see the creases. No, the camera's not picking them up. But it's a very heavily creased. Now, all the other ones I bought from Fansels, they they flatten beautifully. There's no creases after I put them under books. And you can't really tell now. It is flattened out enough that it won't show. But at first, when I even first started doing it, there were heavy creases. So um, all I can think is maybe this was sitting in the factory for a long time before I bought it. And some of the ones that I've bought that don't do that, maybe they were just recently rolled up and sent to me. So I think it might have to do with how long they're in the roll and like before you undo them. Because some of them, I unroll them and they go flat almost immediately, but that was not the case with this one. Okay, I'll be back after I frame this guy. 
All right, so here we have Elvis in his frame. He's all ready to go. I cut down the matting as best as I could. I'm going to have to buy some bigger scissors. I'm just dealing with little tiny scissors, and it makes it really hard for me to cut straight. But you know what? I think it looks fine. Um, this is a dollar store frame. If my aunt wants to get a better frame, she can. I don't think she'll care. She um, loves the dollar store herself, so she'll be fine with this frame. And hopefully people won't be paying too much attention to the frame. Your eye will be drawn more to Elvis in the middle anyway. So here he is. So what do you think? I think he turned out pretty good, and I think she's going to love him. She loves Elvis. She's got posters of Elvis on her wall now. She's got magnets of Elvis on her fridge, so she's going to really like this. All right, so thank you for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. It helps me a lot. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think of this. Do you like it? And um, I guess subscribe if you haven't already. That would really help a lot. All right, guys, take care. And most importantly, stay safe. Bye for now.